Some. You just let the good work. It's not fun. Yeah. Ew, it's nasty. nasty. We're doing some mosquito mitigation. So, oh my gosh, I'm all out of breath from climbing those steps. So, apparently, these were tanks that were used when this place was a winery and they mix the uh, fertilizer chemicals in here. And then over here is the plain. It was the winery where all the wine was grown. And uh, 
But now these things stand empty. Well, not empty. <laughs> not empty, not at empty at all. <laughs> they, uh, they are just big, huge breeders of mosquitoes. And they're nasty, nasty. And they're deep. Wow, they're really deep, huh? Wow. Ugh. So we're trying to figure out a way. I wonder if we can put lids on them. Yeah. Put tops on them. Yeah, put something on them. Yeah. Chloe. Chloe in her natural habitat. <laughs> Um, yeah, lids would be good. For those of you wondering, oh, Tama, so you can make tuba. Oh, yeah, there we United go. Oh, we could do here. cold plunge. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cold plunge pools. Okay, everybody, we'll have a hot plunge and a cold plunge. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be so fun, actually. Yeah, with the sky, yeah. yeah? The start with the night. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Okay, I'm sure everybody's gonna, gonna be commenting on the fact that Tomas has short hair now. He had a haircut. So his long hair, I will post a picture, but his long hair he grew for, uh, for being in a movie as an extra. And he was supposed to be a gendarme, but he wound up being a, a, village, a villager. And uh, so that's why the long hair. So as I say this, I'll post the picture of him as a, a villager, in a, as an extra in a French movie. Anyway, he's gone short again. <laughs> no more gilly gilly. No more gilly gilly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, à bientôt. Careful. Oh my gosh, okay. okay. Sure. Bigger job than it seemed, huh? Rough. <laughs> Not really, I was, I was sure that the, the long job is to clean it. After it's rebuilt, it, it's easy. Right. But yeah, it's old. So the ugly stuff is hide. And just when you open, you see everything. It's really uh, some no, not straw. What's the name of paille? Yeah, straw. Straw. Yeah. So there is some uh, plaster that has is really old, and it's been mixed with straw. We think uh, it's up here in this area. Mm -hmm. You can see the texture there. Yeah, a little bit of a discovery, historical discovery. <laughs> they were already uh, organic at the time. There we go. They were ecological. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be in the I don't see why we need a plasterer. What? I don't see why we need to hire a plasterer. Because yeah. I think he's working better than me. <laughs> you look like you're doing a pretty good job. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Wow. 
Okay, it didn't need a chain at all. It's quite low. <laughs> this is maybe too low. Is it too low? Alors, il manquait des perles, donc il y, a, il y a trois rangées où il manque. Oui. En haut aussi, mais je les ai mis euh, là où ça gelait le moins. J'ai remis des électrifications qui tiennent dedans. Hein. Oui. Je vais vous le brancher. Et j'ai mis des petites fleurs ici. Ah oui. Pour boucher les trous qu'il y avait. Parce qu'à l'époque, il y avait des appliques. <rire> Je coupe le courant peut-être Non, non c'est bon. Ah oui, il y a déjà le... Tired from the ball. Oui. Là, il faut mettre un, après un petit tissu okay. pour habiller. Ok. Bon. Allez-y, allumez. Ok. Oh. Voilà, non. Oh. Non. C'est où On va mettre des switches. Ah. C'est ici. Ah, voilà, c'est pas bon. <rire> Moi, ça marche. Voilà. Ah. Wow. C'est joli. Ouais, c'est très beau. Et à à l'origine, les ampoules étaient dehors. Oui. Mais c'est bien comme ça aussi Oui. Ah, Pas mal. Oui, exactement. On a fait les fixations, les ampoules tiennent bien, tout est fixé. Oui. Non, non. Waouh. Ça valait le coup de le, de le sauver quand même. Ok. Voilà. Ok, bon. Ok. Another little accomplishment today. I got the hall finished. It's very, very white. As you can see, doors are white. Everything. So it's all the same color. It's just the doors are more, um, you know, they're satin finish. And uh, the walls are a matte finish. Functional, whatever you want to call it. So tomorrow, <laughs> Tomorrow begins this section. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. And then Tama has been pl replastering the walls going up to the third floor. So at some point, they're all gonna need to be painted as well. And then I get to do the third floor. Oh, no, I've gotta go do the floor in the bathrooms too. It's never ending. So. Um, that's where we're at today. <laughs> Abiento. Hello, everybody. So, I'm sitting outside <laughs> because it's just slightly warmer out here than it is in the house right now. I have, um, enduring, I'm enduring my third day of a very cold house because I have to leave all the windows open so that the paint can dry properly before closing them. So all the shutters are closed. It's really dark and kind of depressing. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I guess I have a few people wanting updates on the roof. Um, so the uh, quote, so-called quote that I got on the roof was just you know, it was just the roofer kind of like throwing out a ballpark. Um, it wasn't an actual quote, so I haven't I haven't gone down this path yet in terms of getting quotes. And um, in terms of repairing it, yes, I have been in touch with Billy, although I'm still waiting for a reply. So Billy, if you're watching this, please reply. Um, uh, so the problem is that the tiles are very old and they're very fragile. So when you go to replace one, you wind up having, you wind up breaking a lot of the others in and around it so that um, you can repair it properly. 
And so often what they do in these cases is they repair it with something other than slate. So a piece of metal or something like that. So, um, so I mean, I can, I can probably squeak by with a, for another few years just doing spot repairs. But uh, kind of the, the gist I was getting was that it, it is going to need to be done at some point. And I'm going to be just sort of trying to plug holes <laughs> as they appear. And they're going to appear through walls. And I'm going to have to apply a plaster and, you know, all that. So it's kind of not the ideal situation. So anyway, I guess my next step now is to get some proper quotes and talk to Billy if you ever respond and talk to some of the others. Um, yeah, I don't know kind of what else I can possibly do at this moment. Um, update on Visa. Uh, so I still haven't gotten a, um, I still haven't been able to schedule a an appointment. I have to schedule an appointment in the U.S. because that is where I reside. And I thought I was being super smart and booking my flight home through New York so I could visit my son and do the interview because um, there's no consulate in Seattle. So no matter what, I'd have to travel to another city where there is a, con a consulate. Um, so I was trying to get a quite a specific date. I was trying to get a date sort of the first week of um oh, here comes chloe um the first week of um of may and uh so they only post the they only post the dates like a month or so ahead so i've been go i've been going onto the site on a fairly regular basis to see if i can get the date i want and now i'm being told that there are no dates available in new york at all. So I either have to fly to New York and then make my way to Washington DC where I can get an appointment there or um, I opted just to wait till next week and try again in New York and if not then I'll just do the DC thing or I just change my flight go home to Seattle and then fly to San Francisco but uh, or LA but uh, so far there are no appointments in San Francisco either. So I'm kind of panicking a little bit just because um, I kind of need to do this so that I can get back as soon as possible. And uh, I just don't know how long it will be between when I do the interview and when I get my passport back. They take your passport, that's the problem. So I can't, I can't really travel until they send it all back to me. And that might be three or four weeks, two months, I have no idea. So I'm praying it's just a few weeks and uh and then i can turn around and come back but anyone's guess and so that's where i'm at so uh this week uh i think we're gonna do some more kitchen destruction i've decided uh, i had a um a tiler come and he has made it clear that the best option will be to tire, tile over the floor that's there it's going to mean um creating some little um, I don't know what you call them, things that connect the two levels of the floor, but we can kind of make them nice and we um, can do them in sort of a mosaic tile or something. So um, my problem is that I really, really like this. Um, it's called Cobochon and um, it's really expensive though. Um, and the one I really like is sort of a natural stone and it's just a lot more expensive than if I were to just do, to tie, you know, ceramic or even cement tiles are expensive. Ceramic tiles would be the, the least expensive option. Um, but, um, yeah, I was going to do, my daughter, Olivia, really wants sort of black and white tiles, just square black and white. But I just feel like the Cobochon would be more in keeping with the house. Um, so I'm just trying to decide whether... To take the plunge and do the do the one I really want <laughs> or not so anyhow um but at least I kind of know uh now what what we're doing in terms of the floor and uh it's you know we're not gonna have to dig up the whole thing which is gonna be really nasty so it means cutting the bottoms off a few doors because of course the doors swing in and um 
and then leveling up where where uh, it's going to be a little higher now. So, all right, that's that's the update for the week. Um, hope all is well. Okay, abiento.